What's going on everybody? Marty here. Welcome back to another episode of the new mod pack. And I think we've got a name for it, guys. So thanks to Lakey Keel, um, he, he suggested Nostalgia Craft. So I was like, that's a great name. Let me go check it out. It's already taken on the uh, Twitch launcher. So can't use that one. So instead I went with Nostalgia Tech. <laughs> N-O-S-T-A-L-G-I-A-T-E-C-H. All one word. So you should hopefully be able to find that thing on the Twitch launcher pretty soon. If not, just search by author and go Marty GX. So I know the channel is Marty G, but on Twitch that was taken, so it's Marty GX. Um, and then you should be able to find the pack. However, there's going to be some updates coming soon because I did the initial version where I had a couple mods. So I changed some mods, removed some mods, and then I added Content Tweaker and made my own custom lead dust, nickel dust, and zinc dust because um, the Railcraft stuff does not work in the Macerator, like by default. So I had that mod, which was JAO's PCA. And when I would grind that stuff down, instead of getting the dust, it would give me the crushed nickel and crushed lead and crushed zinc. So I wanted to change that because it just didn't feel very fluid to me. So I wanted to change some things, but I'm going to be continuing working on the mod pack to make it more of a, I don't know, more of a... Uh, full you know, i don't know what the word i'm looking for more of a like flow to it you know where it doesn't feel like hodgepodge together it seems a little bit more consistent so that's what i want to do and that's what we're gonna do so as soon as we harvest all this stuff and actually i want to get started on some crops for ic2 because that stuff can be super beneficial for us later but if we start right now we might be able to get into some crop breeding relatively soon. So let's grab some regular old seeds too. I've actually got a bunch. We'll grab some regular seeds. I'm gonna take up a bunch of these. Let's see, that might be good. Let's see, crop, 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 crop. Let's take another row of the, the wheat down. All right, so I'm gonna go boom, 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 boom. Do it in a pattern like that. Let's make some more. And let's, I, I wanted to leave that on purpose because I want to see if any weeds grow in it. So let's make a bunch more of these crops. So it's the sticks. Like that. We get a whole bunch of them. So 10 of them should be good. Um, nothing's going to go there. So we want to space every one of them. Yeah, see, look at that. So weeds start growing right there. We can just click it to get rid of them. So I'm going to go hemp seeds in the middles. Oh, more weeds. If you don't take care of the weeds, they will spread. So let's get regular wheat seeds on the opposite ones. And I'm thinking, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that doing it this way, we can crossbreed the wheat and the hemp seeds together and get something new. So once these are fully grown, by the end of the episode, we should be able to... Oh, look, I had the perfect amount. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> by the end of the episode, we should be able to take and crossbreed these things. All right, so I had to go travel a long ways, guys. <gasps> Let's go outside. What's going on? Uh-oh. What, what'd you do? Vertical chunk, cave layers, day. There we go. Look at this. I had to go all the way up here to a different forest, <laughs> all the way across the land. I traveled all over the place and found nothing, nothing good. Actually, I probably could have checked over there. That looks like that would have been something. Um, but I could not find a single rubber tree. Rubber trees, none of them anywhere. I did find a whole lot of oil, though. But up here, I got some rubber trees, chopped them down, planted them. And now we got to harvest some rubber. Because we got to get started generating some power with IC2. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's make ourselves one of these, a tree tap. Do I have one in here already? Nope. All right, so we need a tree tap, and we're going to right-click on these little nodes. And out pops some resin. So do, do that. Only click once. You can see that there's still a little outline. If you click more than once, you have a chance of destroying the node, and then you will never get anything back from it. So only click once, and only click when there's a thing on it, like when it's colored. 
There we go. Let's grab that one. And we're going to run over here. And I'm going to grab a whole bunch more. And we're just going to plant these, let them grow. And then I'm just going to chop these ones all down. Because one of the first things we're going to do is try to get a lot more production out of our rubber trees and our resin and stuff. So we're just going to... I don't know if we can plant... I'm sure we can plant them right next to each other. It'd probably not hurt anything, but... There we go. All right, so when those grow, we'll come chop them down, but these are going to be the ones we farm. All right, so let's go in. And as you can see, the base, I've done some work here. I've got the, the farm going, right? You guys already saw that. And then I expanded over here. We've got a back door to the, to the base that leads out to some oil and that cave right here. <laughs> so that's that. Um, let's see, what are we going to do next? So now we need to grab some of this rubber. And we're going to grab some tin. We're going to grab like four of these. Yeah, let's just grab the rest of that stack. We'll grab a stack of copper. Grab that stack of redstone. Let's sort that stuff. And we've got the rubber. So let's go here. We'll do all that. Get that. Oh, actually, let's grab half a stack of iron. Split that. Let's get 16 of them in here. We'll put that back up. We'll get 16 of them in here. We'll get that back up. And we need to cook the iron so then we can get the refined iron ingots. So we're going to need three of these. There we go. We got it. And let's grab five of these. Let's grab some cobblestone. And now we're going to make our generator. So we want to do the furnace. And I prefer doing it this way because it takes less of the refined iron. It takes the same amount of like actual iron, but one less step. So we'll go that. We've got our iron furnace. And you can see I've got the iron furnaces here because they're better. They do 10 items per piece of coal rather than the 8 items per piece of coal with the vanilla one. So if we get that there, that there, two redstone here, we get an RE battery. We can put that up there. Iron furnace here. Refined iron there. And now, ladies and gentlemen, suitable power. We've got a generator. Let's plunk that guy down. Okay, next up... Grab a stack of coal. I'm going to slap that in there. And we're going to start generating some power. Pretty cool, right? So what are we going to do with the power? Well, I'll tell you. We're going to go with an extractor. Okay, the extractor is pretty easy. Machine block, so we need eight of those. An electronic circuit, so we're going to need some more copper and some more resin. So I'm going to actually grab another furnace. Oops, I already had plenty. We're going to make another iron furnace, because I'm sure we're going to use it. And I'm going to plunk that down. I'm going to let that one keep doing its thing. And that's my little automated process over there. So let's get... Uh, there we go. A stack in here. Let's cook up just enough. Right. Uh, we're going to need a bunch more, actually. Two, three, four. That should be good. Oh, first, before we go with that, guys, let's do a little something different. We're going to go get a bunch of that. I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then three of these. And then we'll go, so three RE batteries right across the middle. Three planks there, two on the top, and a copper cable. That'll give us a bat box. Da -da 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 bat box all right so we're going to place this guy right like that the input is all five of the sides the output is the one side that has this so this is going to output our power so if we go copper cable i'm going to actually move it out a little bit more but we get our copper cables like that and we'll have another spot right there for more stuff and then we can grab some of that. So let's go make another batch of these. Six of these. This and that, right? This and then redstone. So now we're going to get our electronic circuit. Now we need to make the machine block. And then 
we need to make a whole bunch of tree taps. So like that, so four of them. So let's get one, two, three, four, and this and that. So now I've got an extractor. Okay, um, let's make just some uninsulated copper wire. Like that, we'll get one of these, copper cable. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Because copper cable has a loss to it. So we're gonna go with 10. We're gonna make 10 cable. There we go, ultra low current. I only want two of these things, ooh. Ooh, wait a second, uses of this, can I insulate those? Ooh, cable. Insulated tin? Is there an insulated tin? Uninsulated copper? I don't even see the uninsulated tin. Ultra low current cable. I guess you can't. I guess you can't insulate that. So that's fine. It saves us a little, little bit of rubber. Let's just break that one. Alright, so this. Will I get shocked? I guess, I guess not until it actually transmits power. So we'll get that there. We're going to get our extractor right there. Oh, ultra low will not even take this. That is crazy. Okay. Copper it is. So power right here. This guy's charging up. This is generating power, putting it into the bat box, and then transmitting it to the extractor. And that's red because it is full of power. So if we take and grab uh, some more of the rubber... Now we throw that in the extractor and we'll get a whole we'll get three rubber per piece of resin. So let's see if there's any out there. There's a little bit there. There's a little bit oh, did I get it? Nope. It tricked me, guys. It tricked me. Oh look at that one. That's just a little guy. Oh see, they don't grow very well when you have them so close. All right, because they hit the trees and won't go up. Usually I plant them like how I did over here where there's two in between. But that'll be all right. We'll just chop those down. I'm sure we'll get some more rubber saplings from that. All right, so if we throw these in the extractor, it's a little bit slower, but we'll get 60 rubber from this. So that'll be well worth the investment. All right, so as that's getting some rubber for us, we're going to make something else. So I want to wait until we get at least three more. We're going to do a little bit more of those. Okay, there's three. So if we go those plus those, we'll get a six of them. Let's go copper cable. Refined. Redstone, redstone. We got that. We need a battery. So we need to get more. There it is. We're going to need some more refined iron. We go through the refined iron like mad, guys. All right, so we've got that. We've got that. We need to insulate one of these. Let's go with the tin. Let's go with the redstone. Get that right there. That right there. That, 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 and that. And there we go. We've got a chainsaw. Sweet. So let's charge this thing up. I'm actually going to break this one out. That way I can reach that from the top. We'll charge this guy. It's going to hold 10,000 EU. Fills up pretty quick. Let's go out. Oh, oh man. We can, get rid of, we can get rid of two items. We don't need to hold on to that anymore. We don't need to hold on to Actually, I'm going to use these. We're going to use them up. They're so close to dead. Let's go chop down our rubber trees. <laughs> and we'll do it with style. Actually, we probably won't. Yes, we will. Nope. Break. <laughs> Break. There we go. Now we got a chainsaw. Okay, cool. So we've got a chainsaw. So check this out. It works like shears on leaves. See that? We get the leaf blocks, which is pretty awesome. I need to set I need to get the leaves on there for vein miner. It's super loud. I need to get the leaves on there for vein miner so I can just right click and get them all. There you go. Do the vein miner on it. See, it's already dead, though. So we're already dead. 
we don't have any power left in this thing we didn't even chop the trees down we just got the uh the leaves so let's charge it back up again you're getting charged and let's make something else all right we're gonna need two batteries or three batteries i think oh we need to get we need to get more rubber we're gonna keep going back and forth to get this damn rubber so we want one two three i think there we go I'm trying to do this from, from memory. All right, so we want three batteries. We want two leather. And let's see. It's like a belt, rubber, or rubber, leather, and then that. Yes, we got the industrial belt. Okay, this is going to help us out a lot. So we take our chainsaw get the industrial belt up in here and that's going to hold 30,000 EU so 30,000 plus the 10,000 that we got for the chainsaw now we have the capability to last four times longer out there chopping leaves and stuff so here's the awesome thing about industrial craft 2 classic is that this can go in our bobble slot so now we don't have anything on our body on our legs on our feet we just have the industrial belt holding the extra 3,000 EU on our bobble slot so it's out of the way so now check this out guys if we go over here chop this down chop all this stuff down let's get rid of it and we had something over here and over here and let's go ahead and take the rubber saplings and plant these guys back we'll plant them correct Ooh. we'll plant these correctly in here space two in between and then they'll all grow there we go. Let's move this guy over. We didn't really get the same amount of rubber saplings back, but that's all right. All right, so now, as you can see, this thing still has 10,000 EU, but this is down to 28,850. So it makes it last a heck of a lot longer. And I'm gonna show you some cool stuff with the uh, leaves that we were chopping too. There we go. Vein mine the vanilla leaves. That works. That works. Oh, we are out of space, aren't we? Let's get rid of that and grab some more leaves. All right, I think we we should be pretty good. Oh, missed one. All right, those are growing already. So let's head out, and I'll show you the leaves. Oops, we'll do like this, like that. Like that, and we get the plant balls. <laughs> plant balls. Acacia leaves. More plant balls. Let's get a whole bunch of these things going. And can I use different stuff in here? Nope. However, the saplings. We've got a whole ton of saplings, too. We make more plant balls. Those give double the plant balls. Let's take those. Do a whole bunch of these. A whole bunch of these. Okay, the uses of the plant balls. We can compress them in a compressor and get compressed plants. And then if we take sticky resin and put it in a bunch of the compressed ones, we get organic mesh. If we use our organic mesh and put a bone in the middle, eight of those, we'll get a bio ball. If we take the bio ball, stick it in a compressor, we get a compressed bio ball. If we take the compressed bio ball, craft it with a piece of coal with eight of them, we get a bio chunk. And then if we cook it, we get a coal chunk. And you guys all know what we do with coal chunks, right? Put it in a compressor and get a diamond. So we can actually make a whole bunch of diamonds with leaves and such. So it, I'm sure we don't even have enough to do a single diamond here. So we're gonna we're gonna pass up on this opportunity right now. I'm going to put this cooking for more coal. Um, how are we doing? We're doing good. We're doing good up there. All right. So look at that. All that chopping drained that and almost drained that. I've got 1,000 EU left here. So let's get that charging up. We've got a whole bunch of rubber. That is awesome. Next up, we're going to make this right here. We're going to get the copper cable again. I'm gonna make that with this. 
There we are. Let's make another one of these. Oh, I had one right there. So let's get the copper cable here, 10, 10, and our E battery. We're good with that. Uh, we need that, that, and we should have some more refined iron. So this one, I think, is like this with the RE battery. And there we've got a mining drill. All right, let's cook this. We're going to upgrade this before we even use it. So let's get that sitting right there. We'll come back over here and grab one, two, three, our first three diamonds. So I didn't even make a diamond pick. Instead, we went for the mining drill first. Let's get that charging up, too. We went for the mining drill. And we're going to take this guy, surround it with diamonds. Now we're going to get a diamond-tipped mining drill, which is going to be our diamond drill. So we can hit Control. We can toggle the dirt mode. We can R menu to scan the area in front of you while holding the scanner. We don't have a scanner, so we're not going to do anything with that. But if we hold the button, the mode button, and right click, it'll say dirt mode enabled, dirt mode disabled. So let's leave it enabled and let's break some dirt. See how it's like normal? Normal speed breaking dirt. Let's turn it off <laughs> and it just goes crazy fast. See, it just goes nuts. It goes crazy. So I like to have that if I'm doing some fine tuning uh, with our with our dirt stuff. So let's go ahead and grab that dirt back out. Let's grab some some of the cobble. Let's fill this all back in because I made a mess. Just trying to show you guys some cool stuff. Let's make a stairway up just in case. Oh, I'm out. There we go. One piece of cobble. <laughs> it's my trademark. Ah, I screwed it up a little bit. That's my trademark. All right, so that should be charged by now. Yep, it's good. So let's head down. Um, yeah, that stuff's empty. Good enough. Let's head down and grab some things here. Let's go try out our brand new mining drill. So Vein Miner didn't inherently have support for the mining drill, so I had to add that myself. So if you're uh, trying to get a new pack together and you're using this mod pack, or this uh, this mod, instead of downloading my mod on Twitch, <laughs> on the Twitch launcher, uh, there's nothing over here. Just uh, be aware, Vein Miner doesn't work with this. You have to add that thing yourself. Um, I'm not sure about Ore Excavator, though. Ore Excavator might, that one's pretty good. Let's go down. I gotta add. I think I've gotta add it for shovel too. But there's not really any things you dig up. So now I can do that. Do I have torches. I have a few. Let's get those down. So now mining is a breeze. All it's gonna take to do mining basically is charcoal, because we're just gonna generate some power. And when this thing dies, it dies. We just uh, fill it back up. We don't have to use iron to make a new pick. Holy crap, what do we got going on here? Chainsaw. Where's the chainsaw? All right, ready? Oh, Creeper Chainsaw Massacre. And look at that. It silk touches these things, too. Just like shears would do. Oh, keep going. Nope. Oh, he just blew it up. Look how fast it recovers, too. The speed. Alright, we need to get the torch down here. Alright, guys. All over the place today. Oh, shit. Alright, all these damn cobwebs. See, we don't even get string. That's pretty sweet. We get straight up cobweb. Creeper blew up made string, though. All right. So that's the chainsaw, and that's the drill. Pretty awesome, right? I'm sure you guys already knew that, because IC2's been around forever. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's vein mine all that stuff. That worked. Let's vein mine that. Let's vein mine that. And let's go back up. Success. It's a success. 
All right, what are we going to do next? Next, I want to make... Let's make the electric tree tap. I think we'll do that. We'll do the electric tree tap. That way we don't need to keep making the, the wooden tree taps that don't really last for very long. And that one should... Oh, crap. That one should be pretty easy. Tree tap right here. Electric tree tap. So that, that, plus the tree tap. All right, nice and simple. Let's get this wood put away. We're gonna need five of these. Right, let's get that put away. We don't need that nor that anymore. Let's get some stuff put away. All right, then go up. Oh, sticky resin. You can go in there, start cooking. All right, so we need six of those. This refined redstone one of these all right we need to make some more oh man we're gonna quickly run out of rubber again so that plus 10 plus that gets us the battery so battery that make a tree tap so tree tap electronic circuit and an re battery gets us the electric tree tap we're not done yet uses for this we need to make a hopper got a chest right there how much iron do I have none so we want to do iron iron that and oh, what am I doing here we go we got a hopper and then the next thing is a basic import upgrade so we need to make a sticky piston so sticky piston we can make with resin since we don't have slime so here another piece of iron so this, iron, redstone, that and that, piston, and let's use up the last of our tree tap here. Caught it. Was that two of them? Nice. All right, sticky piston. There we go. Okay, and next we need to make a redstone torch, but a base upgrade okay so we need two times insulated bronze cable silver a mining pipe which is refined iron and we've got just enough so that was with another tree tap so let's get another tree tap going right there oops tree tap refined iron eight of those all right and then what else we need to do electronic circuit. So we're a little bit short here, but let's do one of those. That, refined iron, circuit is done. All right, what's next? Uh, two times insulated bronze. So I got some of this in a dungeon chest. So we go one of these, one there and there. So we get two of the two times insulated bronze. Then also from all the mining, we've got some silver. So silver, bronze, uh, <laughs> let's see. That, and I'm doing this because we get five instead of the three. So five of those, okay. So next up, redstone torch. Okay, so we needed that, that, and sticky piston. So now we've got the basic import upgrade. All right, so before we do that, let's get a charge in this. All right, that should be good. We can just pull that out. And let's go tree tap. Okay, we got it. See how it popped out and flung on the ground? All right, we've got to upgrade for that. That's what this thing that I just built did. So if we take this, go here. All right, electric tree tap. Now, with the upgrade, let's try it out again. So sticky re resin six. Where's the sticky resin over here? What? We got eight. We got 11. We got 12. It goes automatically, automagically into the inventory. So that is why I like to do this upgrade 
Because it just makes life so much easier, doesn't it? Look at that, guys. There we go. We're getting the stuff. So, that's going to wrap it up, guys. We've got all our basic tools made. Um, checked out some stuff. Now, here's the other cool thing. If we take all this rubber wood that we had from chopping down, and let's say we didn't have any sticky resin ready, we can just throw the rubber wood in here, and it's going to cook into a singular piece of rubber. So it's a good way to use up some of that rubber wood that we've been uh, been saving up from chopping down things. So I'm going to get that up there. And then also, we're going to make one last thing today. And that is going to be five of these, four or five, this, that, 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 oops, that, and we're going to get some charcoal and magically put into this. There we go. Keep that nice and charged up for me. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up today. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Really didn't get a whole lot going here, and these things aren't ready to be crossbred yet, so maybe we'll do that at the beginning of the next episode. Um, but yeah, make sure you check it out. Look for the mod pack on Twitch. It's called It'll be like this. Nostalgia Tech. Or search up by author Marty GX. X for extreme. <laughs> G for games. Marty for Marty. So check that up by author if you can't find the mod pack. But hopefully it's up there. Currently it's been up for about 24 hours. Um, I still can't search it. I still can't find it, um, but it is available. I'll, I'll put a link in the description down below, and then that way you can just download it manually and import it or something. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. My name is Marty. Signing out. Peace.